before starting, make sure that ethanol has already been added to the wash buffer concentrate. Additionally, make sure there is enough chloroform and ethanol in the respective falcon tubes in the hood. More can be found under the hood if necessary. The homogenizer should be washed with all three wash solutions before the initial sample that is being homogenized, and also between every additional sample. In the initial step of the RNA isolation protocol, embryos are homogenized in STAT60. One milliliter of STAT60 should be added into each tube of embryos. The RNA STAT60 contains phenol. It can be fatal. When handling the RNA STAT60, always wear gloves and a lab coat and operate in the hood. If any STAT60 is spilled, immediately notify Larissa. Homogenize the embryos in STAT60 until the embryos are blended into solution. Make sure that the embryos are in the solution and do not get stuck on the side of the cryovial. Don't forget that if you're doing multiple RNA extractions, then the homogenizer must be washed with the three labeled rinses of water and wiped with a new chem wipe between each sample. There are a number of different methods to performing the RNA extraction. The method shown here involves transferring the homogenized embryos into new microcentrifuge tubes. The embryos are then incubated at room temperature for at least 5 minutes in no longer than 20. Following the incubation, add 0.2 milliliters chloroform per milliliter of STAT60 used. Shake vigorously for 15 seconds and keep the sample at room temperature for 5 to 6 minutes. Chloroform is considered a hazardous chemical, so use caution when handling it and always work in the hood. The addition of the chloroform to the homogenate separates it into two phases, the aqueous phase and the organic phase. Spin the mixed solutions at 12,000 G for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. During the centrifugation, it could be helpful to label the rest of your tubes and columns as well as get ice. After centrifuging, pipette the upper phase into a new tube. Record the exact amount pipetted. The amount you pipette will equal one volume. Avoid puncturing the hazy middle layer and touching any of the phenol layer, both of which will result in an unsuccessful extraction. If you puncture the phenol layer, re-centrifuge samples as previously described. Add two volumes of RNA binding buffer and mix well. Avoid vortexing. Next, add one volume of 95 or 100% ethanol to the mixture from step 5 and mix well. Once again, do not vortex. Transfer the mixture to the Zymo Spin IC column in a collection tube and centrifuge at max speed for one minute. Discard any flow through. Add 400 microliters RNA prep buffer to the column and centrifuge at max speed for one minute. Once again, discard the flow through. Add 800 microliters RNA wash buffer to the column and centrifuge at max speed for 30 seconds. Discard the flow through. Repeat with 400 microliters of the RNA wash buffer. Centrifuge the column in an emptied collection tube at max speed for two minutes. Remove the column and transfer it to a sterile 1.5 milliliter tube. Add 20 microliters of molecular biology water to the column and let stand for one minute. Centrifuge at 10,000 times G for 30 seconds. 